10 items that are going up in price here for winter of 2023. Let's discuss. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Coffee Rant with Dano and Frank, the bald eagle here. Tonight we are drinking Tim Hortons, a nice smooth coffee to help get us through this Coffee Rant. Um, yeah, we got some things going up in price, guys. It's They're actually happening now. Uh, these will probably most likely carry over into winter of 2023, so we need to discuss these. So when you find them, maybe you can save a little bit of money if you see them on sale. So number one on this list has to be coffee. I know we talk about it a lot, but we've been seeing coffee go up in places that it normally doesn't go up in price. Walmart. Been seeing Walmart. We've seen. Uh, we also saw it at Meyer too. We saw Folgers go up at Meyer, um, and it's it's a shame. It's a shame. Uh, we keep seeing things go up at Walmart. We saw Great Value Coffee go up at Walmart. We saw the For Folgers forty point three ounce canisters go from twelve ninety eight to thirteen twenty four. Not as significant as Meyer. Maybe theirs was twelve ninety nine. Went up to thirteen ninety nine. So much more at Meyer. Um, and it's one that we always talk about on the channel here. We know that there are things going on around the country and around the world. There are some shortages of some different kinds of coffee beans. And as to where that may not affect some of the coffee here, it, it does affect as in if this country is not able to produce, more is going to other areas, which could create shortages for ours which causes prices to go up. Now, it could be one of a million different things for prices to go up, but in this day and age, it seems like every day something is going up, so I like to bring these things to your attention so you don't waste your money. Okay, number two on the list that is skyrocketing in price right now is pork. Now, we are seeing things, and you could say, well, Dan, you know, the pork, the prices haven't gone up. The regular prices haven't gone up, but when we look at the sale we look at the sale of what it normally is, and we have seen some regular prices on bacon. Uh, Oscar Mayer uh, comes to mind. Uh, it's gone from pretty much $6.50 for a pound to $8.49 pretty much everywhere. You can save a penny if you go to Walmart. It's eight forty eight. Apparently, they had the sign wrong the other day. It is $8.48 for 16 ounces of Oscar Mayer at Walmart. However, I'll give you a little tip. A little early preview from our Kroger trip, which you guys will see tomorrow morning. Kroger has a, a discount, a buy one, get one free Oscar Mayer bacon this week. Now it is $8.49, but you can buy one, get one free, getting them for four and a quarter a piece. So four and a quarter a pound. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, even, even when it was six fifty, dollars but that's $2 off of that. So Kroger still has some good deals, but I will say there are a lot of things going up in price, which we'll get to here in a minute. Um, I tried to focus just on the holiday deals and stuff like that, but it's kind of hard to when you when you look to your right and you see a good deal and then you look to your left and you're like, wow, this is what's coming. Um, so always be prepared, guys. Always be prepared. Hopefully everything doesn't hit the fan here this winter with everything going on, but I tried to make sure that we prepare you for whatever happens nonetheless. Okay. The biggest one, the biggest one that we have seen come up here in Cincinnati, Ohio, has been dairy. Please let me know down in the comments where you are, what part of the country, and how much has your milk gone up, okay? Now, I wrote these down specifically. Um, Kroger itself is up 80 cents within about a month and a half. Uh, it's been up 80 cents at Kroger and Meyer and Walmart and Aldi is up 70 cents. So there's something causing the milk prices to go up um, and all of dairy. We see that butter is starting to really go up too. Um, now one has come down. Aldi butter has actually come down in price, at least for the foreseeable future. Um, it was 329, which it had kept going up there for a while. I don't know if this is going to last, but they have it there for $2.49 for the Countryside Creamery. You get the four pack, the four quarter sticks, uh, one pound butter, $2.49. That's the best deal around. Um, now Kroger does have their butter on sale on a digital coupon this week. Um, but I don't, you know, it's $4.29 regular price. Okay. And it continues to go up. Walmart, $3.98. Okay. It keeps going up too. 
We saw Walmart get down to 348. We thought everything was on the right track. And then it started creeping back up again, went to 358, 368, 378, skipped 388, and now at 398. And Meyer is 399 now. And it had gotten down as low as 358. So we're seeing some significant increases in butter and milk over the last month or so. Also, let me know, we've gotten a couple comments on some people around the country where your egg prices have been going back up. Um, ours have a little, not significantly. Um, I will say for the 12 pack, for the 12 count at Kroger for their cheapest eggs is $1.49. When they came back down from what happened a few months ago, uh, when prices were just crazy, um, it had gotten down to $1.29, and then we would see sales on it for like $1.09, $1.19. Now it's back up to $1.49, and this is that slow price increase that we talk about. Where When we see things that go up very slowly like that, not slowly, but like $0.10 cents a week, it, it, you know, it, it's probably going to stay this price. I don't see it coming down. We may see sales on it in the future. Not really too sure. Uh, number four is toilet paper, and it's not really what you think. We we are seeing price increases on some of the cheaper uh, toilet papers, like Angel Soft, um, Scott is really going up in price. Some of these that are traditionally very cheap in a lot of stores are starting to get really up there in price. We've seen Angel Soft for packs that were five dollars now six ninety nine a year later. So it's like now some of the brands, the the name brands, were going up and all that stuff you know, a year ago, even more than a year ago. Well, now we're seeing shrinkflation. And I, I show tomorrow some of what we see with the Quilted Northern. We noticed had a lot of comments where Quilted Northern's been going away. Oh, it's coming back all right. And I noticed it's, uh, it's, it's different, but it looks like it's 25 square feet shorter total than what it was before. So that's what happened with that. And of course, they slapped the same price on it. Also, last week when they were rolling these back in, they had a digital coupon for $4.99 for these six mega rolls, right? Which is now 161 square feet. It was 186, I think it was, uh, square feet. But it looks like it shrinkflated down to 161, making it about 25 square feet smaller. Now, uh, like I said, the $4.99 digital coupon, if you get those, I know a couple of you did, well, now it's it's still on sale, but it's $5.99 on a digital coupon. So they've raised it a dollar. The regular price is $7.99, what it's been over the last year. But so far, what has happened in the last year or so? They've cut off some of the toilet paper roll, like the width of it. They've cut some off. Not only have they done that now, but now it's smaller. Now there's not as much. But they're still charging $7.99 for it, regular price. That's been the price for that pack well over a year. But they keep taking away from it, so you might as well say that's a price increase because you're getting less. Okay, number five. Now, we've gotten a lot of comments on over-the-counter medicine lately, mostly for shortages. But we lately, we've gotten a couple comments on some price increases. Some people were saying that the Equate brand was going up at Walmart. Doesn't surprise me because I feel like everything is going up at Walmart. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they're just having a surge in prices of things that they just, maybe they're making up for that cost of, of the refurb and all the self-checkout lanes that are never even open when I go to Walmart. Um, but I will say as far as Kroger goes, yes, their brand of over-the-counter medicines, ibuprofen, Tylenol, or acetaminophen, stuff like that, all of those seem to have gone up. We did notice that the, the big 500 count ibuprofen went, is now $8.99 regular price. And the big two packs that they have is $15.99, which is up a dollar from what it was just a few weeks ago. So, you know, we are noticing here that over-the-counter medicines are going up. Uh, we have gotten some more comments uh, from some of our viewers in uh, Canada um, one of our longtime viewers said that they are starting to see more and more medicine come in, which is good, which is good. But we are still having some that are saying that they are not able to find a lot of the different children's medicines. And, you know, that's that's pretty bad. I mean, and it's been months now. And remember, this same problem happened last year. Um, and I know a couple people out there are saying that they are, um, you know, even... what. That's probably what's happening. 
is that it's going away again, coming back at a higher price. We see this at different rates throughout the entire world, depending on how fast they can get the trucks there or whatever, that all depends, or their new product, right? I mean, we see the new advertising on Quilted Northern. They slide it in there. It's got the nice, it's not the cheap paper anymore. They got the plastic. Maybe that's what they were doing to save money. I don't know. I don't know. But either way, they've taken 25 feet off of the off of the total um, footage of the toilet paper. So, you know, it's like losing, you know. But I don't know. These companies probably do a lot of research. They probably realize, like, well, if we go over this, you know, they probably do the numbers. If we go over this price and we charge this much more, people just aren't going to buy it. You know, I mean, I'm sure they run those kind of numbers to see, you know, if people are going to buy them or not. Okay, number six, bread. Now, bread has been going up around here for a long time. We have gotten some comments over the last couple few weeks on different store brand breads that have been going up in price. And I can attest for this, Kroger just went up from $1.99 a loaf, which is way too much for their bread, to $2.29. Now, I was pointing this out last week because it was $0.99 cents on a digital coupon. And, you know, good, you know if, if you got the freezer space, I guess you could have froze some of that bread. But, you know, it's just, it's hard to, it's hard to buy five loaves of bread because, you know, you're, you're going to run it, you know, you're going to run into that issue. It may go bad, you know, and if you don't, unless you have a huge family or something, or, you know, maybe you just buy the five loaves and it, we would have probably had to give it a couple away. We have no freezer space. We are completely out and it stinks, you know, but eventually we'll get around to getting another uh, freezer and be able to do more. But I'll tell you what, it's getting harder and harder these days, guys. Uh, bread. I, I know somebody mentioned Nature's Own. Yes, it went up a little while ago. Here it is now, three ninety nine a loaf. That is crazy. Um, and Sara Lee, yeah, I, so I quit going over Sara Lee because we get, quit getting comments on it. I know we have a lot of people on the channel that like Sara Lee bread, but I haven't seen it on sale. I'm not going to, you know, it's like, I, I can't imagine. I mean, you know, there's some things that we'll spend a little bit extra money on. I get it. You know, if it's your favorite bread, but four forty nine. dollars even $4 in some places now. I mean, Kroger's usually really expensive on different kinds of breads like that, but come on, $4.49, that's ridiculous. Okay, number seven on our list is the one we probably have gotten the most comments on lately is sugar. Okay, 10 pound bags of sugar is the one that I'm talking about though, because we're seeing the four pound bags kind of hover around $3 to $3.29, depending, depending on where you are. The cheapest store brand that I have seen is at Aldi at 309. Pretty much all of them. Uh, all the other ones. Walmart is 324. Kroger and Meyer are both 329 for their store brand sugar. Um, I did see at Meyer the other day. They had uh, Domino sugar four pound bag for 349. I I can't tell you the last time I've seen Domino sugar on sale like that. Um, it's usually never on sale. Uh, but the 10 pound bags we've noticed, you know, because they all went up at the same time as the small bags, right? We saw where Walmart went from uh, 688 to 728 when they had gone from 298 to 329, or no, I'm sorry, they went from 298 to 312. Their four pound bags were $3.12. We saw where they went up to 324, and then the 10 pound bags had gone up to 728. Well, like a week later, we're we're back at Walmart and it's it's seven sixty eight, is it uh, yeah seven sixty eight for is it seven fifty eight or sixty eight? Believe yeah seven sixty eight. Oh my goodness! And, and we saw where it just went up at Meyer also to seven sixty nine. It's one penny higher than um than Walmart. So and Aldi doesn't carry ten pound bags of sugar, but anyway. It's just, you know, we didn't, we didn't see the four pound bags go up, but it's like, is that next? Is it going up again? Because it was just kind of weird seeing those two price increases on the 10 pound bags within such a short period of time. And then the smaller bags still at $3. And I know, you know, we're talking about sugar a lot, but you know, there's been some shortages of sugar as well. Part of which is probably causing these prices to go up along with who knows what else. Okay. Uh, next on the list is one we've been getting a lot of comments as well. Uh, distilled white vinegar and other vinegars. 
Okay, yes, prices are soaring on these. The gallon size things of distilled white vinegar, they are up to $3.99 at Kroger now. That is up, let's see, $3.29 was when, um, yeah, so it's it's up like 70 cents. 70 cents. So is um, Meyer. Hold on a second. No, Meyer is at three eighty five, I think it is, and then um, Walmart is at like uh, I think it's like three seventy eight or something or three eighty eight. I don't know. A couple of them. They they keep going up. They're going up so fast. I can't even keep track of them anymore. Like that d white vinegar and the sugar and everything. It just keeps going up. Whether some of them go up 30 cents, some of them go up. We saw Kroger where it went up three times in a month. So, yes, I completely understand uh, why this is one of the most commented on the channel here. Uh, you know, we have a lot of people on the channel that do their own canning and stuff like that that need the distilled white vinegar to be able to do that. Um, that could be in part why some of the prices are going up. Uh, and we've gotten more comments of some people not being able to find uh, some different other vinegars as well. Uh, just regular vinegar, apple cider vinegar, some of this stuff seems like it just kind of comes and goes around here. There's no real rhyme or reason, but it's always coming back in. So I don't con I don't consider that a, a major shortage. Um, but it could be, and we're not seeing the prices go up on that right now, but we are on the distilled white vinegar. So, you know, we'll, I don't know. I'm just going over the things that we have been getting the most comments on again, so that if we find them in the stores, maybe not worry so much about the price or, or know that you can probably, you know, know what the prices are now so that if you see a good price on it, go ahead and buy up one or two before these price increases hit your town. So that's the main reason for this. Number nine, dry beans. Now, I really haven't been covering the rice and dry beans lately or looking for them because we haven't gotten a lot of comments on them. When we don't get a lot of comments on things, I don't check them out as much. However, someone did leave a comment about the Goya dry beans, asked if I would check out the prices today. I asked if I would just check out the prices. So we looked at them at Kroger, no increases on those prices at all. They're a little expensive, but they've been that price for a while. Now we have seen where some uh, rice has gone up and dry beans in the past here. So I don't know if some of those prices are just now catching up to you. Um, but yes, they have gone up at like Kroger, Walmart. Uh, another thing that's significantly gone up at Walmart is the dry beans. Okay, number 10 on the list is canned meats. Now, I had a feeling that canned meats were going to be going up in price because of all the different prices on meats and stuff that we have seen on steak, hamburger, chicken, pork, you name it. I feel like it has just gone up in price pretty much everywhere. So, you know, I just wanted to mention that one. Um, haven't seen any significant price increases other than maybe some places on Hormel Chili, uh, different um like Skyline Chili, if you're familiar with it, it's a Cincinnati product. That is like unaffordable now. And we live in Cincinnati. I don't know, it's like $6 a can, more than $6 a can. And it's like 10 ounces. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's good, don't get me wrong, but it's way too expensive. But, you know, and, and some of the canned chickens, I know someone had mentioned some different canned chickens that were going up in price. Uh, somebody mentioned the Swanson one at Kroger. Yeah, don't buy that, $5.99. I don't know how they can even get away with putting that sticker on the rail there. I mean, that is a a blatant ripoff. Like I and you know, we talk about that one a lot. I know you may be a new viewer to the channel because yeah, we talk about the Swanson chicken. If you have a Sam's Club membership or a Costco membership, I'm not sure what Kirkland brand is right now on the six packs of chicken, but I know the uh, the six pack of the uh, chunk chicken breasts in the can at Sam's Club is just under $13. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. And that's our favorite. I think it's better than Swanson, if you ask me. But guys, you know what? It's going to continue to happen. I'm sure that, you know, there's a lot of things that aren't on this list, but I just wanted to go over the 10 top ones that we get the, com the most comments on so that, for one, I'm answering some of your questions. I don't know how well. I mean, it's, it, it's hard to really... <sighs> You know, it, it's hard to really grasp these things sometimes, guys. It, it, it really is. You know, I hate bringing all the bad news of things with these price increases and everything. But at the same time, we have to know. We have to know so that 
when we get to the store, if, if we know what's coming, you know, say you're, say you find distilled white vinegar for three twenty nine still, you might want to buy up a couple. Or if you have Sam's Club, those are still two for six, two for six, making them $3 a, a thing. And, and I'm, I'm speaking mostly probably to the ones who can their own vegetables and produce and stuff like that, because that can get pretty costly. You know, if you're using a lot of it, yeah, it can get pretty expensive. So Sam's Club, two for six, that is the cheapest that I've seen. But again, if you don't have a membership or something, you go and you find one for three twenty nine, dollars pick it up before it gets up to $4. You know, some of these things, we just want to try to stay ahead of the game and, uh, you know, making sure that we're paying attention to everything going on. Like I've said before, and I've said in other videos, I think we have a long winter coming. And again, not trying to scare nobody or anything like that. No fear, no, and no judgment. You know, so much judgment on so many different things. I, I don't judge anybody. You know, we get comments for anything. You want me to check out some different sales on microwave meals? You want us to check out different things, anything, food, things that, uh, you know, where you can save money? I'm going to check them out. I don't care if it's a Reese candy bar. I will find the best deal for you. Uh, you know, and it, it, people... You know, some people are like, well, you know, talking about the whole, you know, well, that's not healthy. That's not healthy. Well, you probably just don't know of some of the comments that I've gotten from videos maybe last week, you know, because I, I know watching the videos, you probably don't know that I'm still getting comments from videos I did a year ago. You know, people coming into the channel, seeing that specific video and they're talking about different things. And then it's, it is, it is kind of interesting when some of our new viewers check out one of our videos from a year ago and then they catch up to the, what's happening today and the, the, the price difference and it, the shock I can imagine I can imagine the shock when you go from one of our older videos to one of the videos of today I mean it's yeah it's pretty crazy I've never gone back and watched any of the older videos but I may do that at some point just to see where we're at here today you know, I mean, I got a pretty decent memory when it comes to these things. I know what prices were a year ago, two years ago, at, at least as long as we've been doing this. But hey, let's take a little sip of coffee. Shout out to our Canadian viewers with the Tim Hortons coffee. I've really grown to like it. Uh, it's a nice, smooth uh, dinner coffee. You know, I need something a little stronger maybe in the morning, but definitely works out for these coffee rants. This is my last pot of Tim Hortons, so may have to get some more when I find it on sale. They had it on sale for Meyer the other day on the small bags, and I did. I think it was six ninety, five ninety, six ninety, some weird number for one of the small bags. But anyway, going over so many different things to, uh, today, guys. I just wanted to cover a lot of the items that you have been talking about because these will be significant. The way I look at it is. When we get hundreds of comments on one product, that means we need to take notice to that. And especially because, you know, and, and a lot of people don't abbreviate their states or cities. And, you know, that's fine. If you can, cool. If not, I understand that's probably, you know, you're not thinking about it or something. But I'll tell you what, it just, it really does help though, because you could help your neighbor, you know, like, hey, uh, here at Giant Eagle, we get a lot of comments from Northern Ohio with Giant Eagle and all that. We don't have Giant Eagle around here. I'd like to pay a visit to one someday. But when you mention Giant Eagle and then like, oh, I'm in Columbus or I'm in Cleveland, you know, don't put your address or anything silly like that. Just, you know, abbreviate like Columbus, you know, or just say Columbus. Um, that way your neighbors, uh, we have a lot of viewers from Columbus. So they know that, oh, they got this turkey sale at uh, Giant Eagle here for so-and-so. You know, like just abbreviate where, what city and state you're in. That way, everybody else viewing this video knows where to go to get that deal. Because I can't, I can't cover everything. And and shout out to everybody who's been pointing out all the other different Kroger owned stores and trying to help people with their, uh, with the way the coupons work and everything like that. I always say, do the digital coupons at home. Don't go to the store and try to do the QR code because if you do you're going to be there for a while. And, and honestly, it's kind of a headache. Sometimes it works fine. And sometimes you'll have one that you're just having trouble with. Good to just do on your laptop at home or on your phone at home where you can sip your coffee and uh, watch, watch one of our videos here while you're clipping your coupons. <laughs> you might be able to do that tomorrow. That is like digital coupon week at Kroger. Uh, no, 
there's some good sales, but all the best sales are on digital coupons. So stay, be prepared for that. Because um, usually once they have like a mega sale, that's usually what it is for the next week. They'll have deals, but it's going to all be on digital coupons. But guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Um, I hope it helps. Just wanted to point out all the ones that you guys have been talking the most. And, and these are all ones that we are seeing in the stores as well. So it's not just ones that, that we're not seeing. Um, let me, real quick, let me uh, flip back here real quick. Just to, wow, we got a lot of notes building up here. Uh, canned meats, canned meats. We haven't seen any significant price increases lately. I'm expecting some of them to start going up in price though. Like some of the more high, higher quality, like Keystone meats, stuff like that. Uh, we have seen where some stores have raised the prices, but they, I feel like some of these stores either catching up because you got to be careful too. When you look at a price that you've seen in another store and you see something else and it's significantly lower, you may want to take a picture of it so that you can show them up front just in case the sticker was wrong because we have been getting a lot of comments on that lately as well. And yeah, if you guys don't mind, let me know some of the prices of your dairy where you are. Uh, because our dairy is really going up, but but cheese hasn't. I, I think it's kind of weird. Knock on wood, cheese is still the same price everywhere. Milk is up. Uh, eggs are up a little bit for a lot of other people, not us yet. But um, cheese continues to stay the same. So I, I don't know. Maybe they're just, I don't know. Hopefully cheese does stay the same. I mean, it's, it's the same at Walmart, same at Meyer, same at Kroger. Kroger's a little expensive when not on sale, $2.49, but Kroger does have the um, shredded cheese, the two-pound bags, $4.99 on a digital coupon this week, and that does include the bricks as well, so a little bit of a savings there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for letting me rant tonight, and um, yeah, probably have something else for tomorrow. Uh, we'll go over some more things on anything we can do to try and help save you money in the stores. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.